I think there are three. One, see two, three. And then when you turn the bike on, voila. So, I don't know if you can see it, but here on the left where the cluster of controls are, there is a cruise control button. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Dragoness Moto, and today I'm out with the still unnamed BMW S1000RR and a lot of you were saying in my last video that you didn't get to see the full color scheme of this bike so behold what I'm going to cover today in this video are the luxury features that you see on the BMW S1000RR there are some things on this bike that I've never seen on other motorcycles. All right, so I want to start by showing you the TFT dash, which is huge. Here's my hand for scale. To be fair, my hands aren't very large, but you know, this is still a very big screen. All right, so you start up. All these fancy lights come on, and then you get this wonderful logo come up. Which you can change here with this button, road mode, dynamic mode, race mode, rain mode so we're gonna stay in road mode for now so first things first is this icon here where I can see how much gas I have left you can actually change to different features so you can see how much gas you have uh, the total miles you've done and then you can set trips to see how many miles you done. obviously I haven't been doing that I just have it from day one our clocks as you can see there is a lot oh tire pressure monitor that's going to be one of the features I talk about how many miles you have until you need to get gas and I just like keeping it here because I like to see how much gas I have left okay you can see the Bluetooth icon flashing here because it's trying to connect to my phone because this has Bluetooth connectivity see all of these fancy cluster of buttons here we have a lot of menu options I start with my vehicle okay here you can see the battery voltage and this brings me to one of my luxury features I want to discuss, which is that this bike has a tire pressure monitor. So here you can see that my front tire has 33 PSI and then my back tire has 38.8 PSI, which I think is such an awesome feature because I would always check my PSI every time I ride anyway. But with this, I can just check it electronically. Actually, one of my favorite features on this bike seems pretty simple, but I don't know of any other bikes that have a tire pressure monitor um, so let me know in the comments if you know of another bike that does have one so it also has an onboard computer and monitor which you can reset for every trip so you can see how many miles you've done how many miles per gallon you were doing how far you went how many minutes or hours you stopped for oh and that also includes like your average speed and fuel consumption it's crazy the electronics on this thing <laughs> all right so another luxury feature on this bike is that you can change how the dash looks when you're in sport mode all right, so here are the options. I think there are three, one, see two, three. Yep, you have three visual options, so you can opt to have any one of these dashes when you're in sport mode. You even have lean angle on here. But something you can also do is customize each of the modes. So I haven't fully explored all of those options because you can really refine and tweak it however you want, all the way from engine braking, um, how much wheelie control, how much traction control you want on the bike. So I'm going to set those three modes up at another time, but that is a thing that you can do, which I think is so freaking cool. This bike also has turn-by-turn -turn navigation, which is amazing so I do have a Cardo so I can hear the directions um, but it's also wonderful being able to see it because I don't have a phone mount on this bike so basically you download the BMW connect app connect it to your phone and then through your phone connect to the Bluetooth on the bike and then you can navigate your way wherever you're trying to go you can see on here turn by turn directions so you can also hear it through your Cardo if you like and you can see it on navigation here media so since your phone is connected to the bike you can see the media so like the music you're playing through your phone on the bike change the songs all that type of stuff i haven't explored that personally yet i just have a playlist if i listen to music on the bike i haven't really messed around with it too much just still trying to get a feel for everything 
Telephone, yep, you can download your contacts in here, I think. Let's see. Oh, I've got a connector. I haven't connected it. Sorry. So, uh, I believe in here, though, you can see all your favorite contacts. So, while you're on the move, if you need to call someone and maybe your Siri or Cardo isn't working, you can just go through the telephone app and call whoever you want. Okay, then all the settings. So, you have racetrack, if you want that to be on or off. Vehicle settings. All right. So, then, you see this little toggle here? So, this feels a bit awkward right now. I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. So you could just move that more seamlessly with your finger. So display information, reset all connections, where you connect your phone, or your system settings, vehicle settings. Let's see, it's an example. So yeah, you can turn your lap timer on, off, shift light on, GDC calibration. I'm not going to mess around with any of that right now. System settings. Yep, date and time. What units you want in the language? Ah, oh, should change this to English UK. Uh, cool. Alright, that is it for all of our options. I say that is it, like, there's not a lot of options. So we're back here to the main TFT screen, which again, for reference, is huge. Uh, we have hazards on this bike. Look at that. Have you ever seen a bike with hazards? I'm pretty sure this isn't unique to the BMW, but I think it's pretty cool. So if you're on the side of the road or something, you can just throw your hazards on so that people see you. Maybe not worthy of a shout out in this video, but I think so. Everyone go buy yourself an S1000RR because it has hazard lights. Safety first, guys. Oh, and I want you to see what it looks like when I turn on the bike because the lights look really cool. Hang on. All right. I'm going to try and run and there you go. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Didn't look as cool as it does when you're standing here. So I guess we'll just look forward. You see how it softly lights up? And you can see when you turn it off that it also gets brighter and then dims down a little bit too. Something else which is really cool that this bike has is hill stop control. The bike recognizes that you're coming up to a hill about to stop and it will engage the brakes for you so that you don't have to do it yourself. And that's super cool. I haven't actually done that yet. I don't know if that's a feature I have to turn on yet, but I'm gonna figure that out. But that's another feature which I've been told about this bike has. Something else cool it has is USB sockets, so you can charge on the go. Other features that I want to talk about are the heated hand grips, cruise control, and up and down shifters. Just going through the gears with the up and down quick shifters, it feels phenomenal. So I'm going to pan to that on the road now. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, you can see the lights better now. Now when you turn the bike on, voila! I'm actually going to turn my hand warmers on now, there's a little chilly. So here's the hand warmers and you can see we have three levels. So really warm, medium warmth, not very warm, but still warm. insane. <laughs> First gear you can basically take off from planet Earth is crazy. This quick shifter is so smooth. Let's go down. Go back up. It's obviously hard to get the feel for how smooth this quick shifter is on camera, but I can tell you this thing is butter smooth. So outside of the hand warmers helping, the amount of heat this engine gives off is quite nice in the winter. In the summer, not so much, but it feels good now in the winter. Okay, leaving Starbucks. Now I'm going to go and show you this cruise control. I don't know if you can see it, but here on the left 
where the cluster of controls are. There is a cruise control button, so you can switch it right to be on and left to be off. And now it's on, you can see the little cruise control sign there. So basically I get to my desired speed. You push this little button here, it says set and reset, push it forward. And then you see it turns green and has your miles per hour there. And officially have cruise control. So if I want to speed up, I just press that set reset up. And you can see my miles per hour increasing. And the same if I want to decrease speed. So I just push it back here with my finger. So it's pretty smooth going up and down. So then if I want to come out of cruise control, I just ha either have to turn it off completely or I can touch on the brake. This is one of the gripes I do have is that coming out of cruise control is not very smooth. So I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but did you see that jolt? Not the smoothest. I mean, it's not a crazy jolt, but it could be better. And then another way to come out of it is just to turn cruise control all the way off. So let's go back in. Now we're cruising, let's slow down. Okay, right hand off again. And then if I want to stop, just turn cruise control completely off. And again, a bit of a jolt. I slid forward a little bit, but that's not too bad. Turn it back on. And set our speed. So we can speed up in cruise control. And then it'll just bring you back down when you come off the throttle. So it's pretty cool to be able to take your hand off of the throttle. I don't know many super bikes that have cruise control features stop on them like this one does. I don't use it a lot just because there is a lot of traffic in this area. So I'm usually on and off of the gas quite a lot. Oh, and here is just a luxury feature of having a motorcycle. You can get straight to the front of the line. Oh, bliss. Alright you guys, that is all that I have for you today. I hope you learned something new about some of the luxury features on the BMW S1000 RR. If there is anything else on this bike that you know about, which I did not mention, please let me know in the comments. Uh, or just let me know what your favorite feature is on this bike.